Hi, you guys. Happy Wednesday to you guys. This is Prophetess Sophia Sabrina Acapo and wanted to drop a quick prophetic word for you guys. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. And Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy, telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls. To the gospel of Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ's mighty name, that I do pray, amen, 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 and amen. So you guys, I was in deep intercessory prayer, just sitting in my car, just really just pouring my heart out to the Lord. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, look up. And when I looked up, he had opened the heaven. He had opened the heaven. There was an opening up in the clouds. And the Lord is saying, I am opening up the windows of heaven for you and pouring out blessings to you that there will not be room enough for you to receive them all. That we are up under an open heaven that the earth has been open to you your blessings are coming upon you and they are overtaking you because you chose to hearken unto the voice of the lord the lord is saying you'll be blessed in the city you'll be blessed in the field you'll be blessed coming in you'll be blessed going out you will be the head and not the tail you will be above and not beneath you will be a lender and not a borrower that thing surfaced around it was in a turning circular motion and I looked up and there was an opening and the Lord let me know there was an opening to your breakthrough. There was an opening to your blessings coming upon thee even now and overtaking thee because you chose to hearken unto the voice of the Lord. So just wanted to give somebody this quick prophetic word one today to let you know that it is happening it is time and the lord is confirming his word and bringing it back to you to let you know that your light has come your light is here it is happening but he's wanting you to be in expectation and expect the unexpected isaiah 60 and 1 arise and shine for your light it has come and the glory of the lord has risen upon thee his glory is upon you. Don't believe anything contrary to anything else. No matter. Believe only what his word says. Believe only what his word says. Because his word is a lamp unto our feet. His word is a light unto our path. And what his word says that settles it. He has lighted our path. He has opened up the pathways for us. He has opened up the earth for us to obtain, sustain, secure our blessings and walk into settlement. The Lord is saying you're walking into restoration. You're walking into that first Peter 5 and 10. You're walking into that confirmation. You're walking into that establishment. You are walking into that settlement. You are walking into that security. You are on the right path. He didn't say you weren't going to go through troubles, but what he is saying is trouble don't last always. And the very troubles that you are going through, it molds you and shapes you and gets you in line and time and in tune and on that right pathway. And if anything is going on in your life, trust me, that means you're on the right path. You're doing the right things. And that is why the Lord has opened up his blessings to you to overtake you. Because you made a conscientious decision to say, you know what? No matter what goes on, I've got work to do. And I'm going to walk in obedience to eat the good of the land and the land of the living. I'm going to walk in intentionality. I'm going to walk in originality. I'm going to walk in my authenticity of what God has promised, purpose, and created for me to be. And I talked about this in a video on yesterday. 
the, the Lord is saying, you have done it. You have won it. The pathway is open. This is your seed time and harvest season. Those blessings are manifesting. Those blessings are taking fruition. Those blessings are pouring out. There's an open heaven and an open door. There's a release and an increase. This is your time. And his grace is upon this thing. His mercy is upon this thing. His glory is upon this thing. His power is upon this thing. You are not alone. One with the Lord is a majority. He is right there with you. And the pathway, as I was stating in a previous video, has been made clear. Where you can walk circumspectly. Because the earth has opened up to you. And as you're walking, the Lord is saying, not only are you going to be sustaining, but you're going to be obtaining, walking into security, walking out of obscurity into security. On your new dimensional level, I hear 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, when you are in Christ, you are a new creation. The old has gone. And the new is here. He is outpouring the blessings of your new chapter, your new level, your new story, a page turn that's going to give God the glory. This is why he has opened the doors for you. He has opened the heaven for you. He's going to see your way through. He has gone before you and cleared that pathway. And if you will continue walking by faith and not by sight, you're going to continuously be walking in the marvelous light of your creator, Master Jesus. And it's going to lead you to his promises and unlock that multiplicity of those unlimited blessings. And they're going to be where they were stored up. They're now coming down continuously. Continuously. These are nonstop blessings. For every lesson that you've learned and everything that you've had to endure. The Lord is saying, I'm rewarding you for diligently seeking after me. And I place you in that level of an open heaven. I place you in that level of more. And exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think. Ephesians 3 and 20 according to the power that is at work on the inside of you. Keep being an expectation for the unexpected keep trusting by faith knowing that his grace and his mercy his grace is sufficient his mercy endures forever that this is the time of fruition and manifestation increase and release open heaven and open doors his grace and unmerited favor if he repeats this word and confirms this word that further lets you know that what he says that settles it his word is sharper than a double-edged sword. It pierces and it cuts. It will not ever return back until it's void. His word is faithful and his word is true. And he's going to do exactly what it is he said he's going to do. Because you're his. And when you're on the winning side and when you become a part of the royal family. I got on my purpose today <laughs> to represent the royal family. The royal family. <laughs> He wants you to know that you are a part of something that was pre-planned and that will stand and that will sustain and he has gone before you and he has made those necessary changes because those blessings are manifesting now. Those blessings are pouring out now. The Lord is saying, catch. Catch this in the fire and in the power of the Holy Ghost because you have walked into your open heaven and you have walked into your blessings, unlimited blessings of so much more. That's said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love each and every one of you guys. I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Keep the comments, the likes, the shares, the prayers, the words of encouragement coming because I am telling you to keep me going along and keep me going strong. Thank you so much to my new subscribers. Thank you for the ones that continuously keep coming back. It does not go unnoticed. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. I'm constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for sowing into this ministry, you guys. Thank you so much for the super thanks. 
I appreciate each and every one of you guys and for all you do. Thank you so much for all of the beautiful messages because every time I read them, it gives me more endurance. It gives me more encouragement to keep going strong. There is an open heaven, you guys. And the Lord is saying, this thing is pouring out right now. A Hebrews 11 and 1, that now faith, it is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things that we cannot see. Don't try to figure it out because God has already worked it out. And the pour out of this open heaven and those unlimited blessings have came from the lesson. And the Lord said this pour out is a right now experience. This pour out is a right now experience. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Once again, I love each and every one of you guys. Welcome to the family. For my new subscribers, welcome to the fam. To my new subscribers. Let this word permeate, absorb, flow, and saturate in your spirit. Because I'm telling you, the Lord is doing something spectacular. And the Lord wants you to know that it is happening now. You have entered your momentous moment of an open heaven and those blessings are being released and those blessings are outpouring in your life to so much more. You've entered your new days, your next stages, your new chapters, your entrance level into greatness. The way God pre-planned it, purposed it, and predestined it from the very beginning. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and we will most certainly talk on the next. God bless you richly. Bye-bye.